Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Count Christo and this is the War of Three Oceans. We need to upgrade our anti-sub destroyers. So give me a new variant on that scout there, please. In fact, actually, yeah, the scout wants better anti-sub warfare as well. In fact, the scout and the anti-sub ship could be identical. Let's do that. They'll be identical, but a f but kind. Well, yeah, no, the scout doesn't need three depth charges. So yeah, the scout just gets the upgrade. Save that. I have to name it. This is the forty scout. Update that. Good. Just show me these. And then a v duplicate variant of this. This is the. 40 anti-submarine warfare gets the depth charges. Nice. Uh, anything else we need on there? Not really. I don't think I have the level 3 radar yet. Or level 3 sonar. No. Cool. That looks good to me then. Uh, and you get the new icon. You are a crab. Save it up. And we will decommission the 36 anti-submarine warfare. Which we are currently producing quite a few of. Done in November. Uh, I don't really want to uh, cancel that. Let's do it this way. And you should go to the anti sub warfare reserve. Good, done. And I noticed we have a new plane available. Yes, the new naval bomber. So let's switch over to producing those. And um, what's important with naval bombers? Y range, I think. So we'll throw a bit more in the range there. Good. Next up, we have a bunch of spare anti-sub warfare ships and a couple of miners. Why are my miners going into the uh, anti-sub reserve? This seems seems incorrect. My miners can just go uh, go directly into the miners. I think seems fine. You two can split off and be merged into the miners. The anti-sub ships can be split off. And we'll, we'll put them piecemeal into these. Like so. Good. You have just a lot of carriers, basically. These are essentially replacement carriers. And in fact, you two uh, can base here and do some naval exercises in the coast of Japan. That should be good. Because I want them to be... Uh, I don't want to send a carrier into combat that isn't veteran, basically. You guys do have the order to swing, like, swing down, right? Yes. Hong Kong is currently experiencing some resistance, but that's fine. One of these guys is going to go back over there, and that should fix that. What's using so much fuel right now? Is it my Air Force? The Air Force is using some. The Navy is also using quite a bit. Oh, these guys are in motion. That's why. That's fine. Not a concern. You guys are now docked. Good. You can start doing some exercises. How much fuel do you actually use? God, 950. These two carriers use more fuel than all my freaking refineries produced. That is crazy. That is crazy. We don't have very good refinery technology, admittedly. We need to keep an eye. Ooh, they're suspending the prosecution. Interesting. That's a, uh... They can do an alliance with the, uh... Soviets if they keep going down that way. Interesting. They might also get a, uh... A civil war. Haven't done Lend-Lease yet, or Giant Awakes. They have done Arsenal of Democracy, which is a bit worrying. Their military factory count is now, uh, growing. And, of course, ours is rather low because we've been focusing so much on the navy but that's okay it doesn't matter how big their army is if it can't get over here we can still cruise our way through conquering all this land without really having to uh to face it much okay you guys ready to ready to go yet not quite not everyone is in position just yet Okay, uh, anything else I need to be acting on right now? Yes, I have a ooh, nice, a lovely screen cruiser. Just what I want in the main battle group. We are posed by quite a few ships here. Ah, yes, you guys return to convoy raiding. And you may now once again have your strike force order. It's currently repairing. No, no, that's not how we do. Don't want you to repair as a whole fleet. We need to strike force in these regions. And then if someone needs to repair, they get detached. I do have automatic split off on, so 
really should have done that on your own fleet, but oh well. Not a big deal. <clears throat> okay, so they're strike forcing here. We don't need them in the South China Sea or here or here anymore. We're just worrying about this invasion up here. The secondary strike force, sorry, the, the, well, the naval invasion force should head on down to Singapore because I have fresh orders for them. They're going to be naval invading up here and no longer over there. Good. These scouts, I think I will put under the main force and they really should use fleet color. They are gonna scout in these two regions. Good. So we have both of these guys scouting there. You are a bit short on numbers because someone's detached. If I could have, excellent, just what I was looking for. An extra nice 36 scout. That would be ideal. This guy's training away. All right, finally got these guys. One of you can go back after you've done this, just so I don't forget. One of you can go back here. And one of you can garrison here. Perfect. Excuse me. I'll just kill those cabs first. Lovely jubbly. Okie dokie. We need some poor garrisons. It's a matter of some urgency. Um, let's start nicking from places like this. Come down here. Good. Maybe these should be... Uh, Pacific port garrisons, actually. Yeah, this would probably be in the Pacific port garrison area. Not that it makes that much difference, but hey-ho. There's the anti-air upgrade. Nice, which means I can get onto these. Which means we can get better anti-air on all our ships ready for the war with the United States. It's basically going to be, I think, capture, Eastern, uh, capture Burma, stabilize the front... Capture Australia, New Zealand, wrap up these islands. Then it's time to strike the United States. I want to strike at them and seize all these naval bases before they have a chance to cause any problems. My miners uh, currently don't have the range to operate. Oh, I do, I do actually have the range to operate out here. You know what? Sure. Let's do that. Good. And the mines here do stick around. Like They don't, uh, they don't vanish unless someone sweeps them. At least I think that's how it works. Okay, no longer need you guys flying over there. You guys can... Are there any air bases over here? There is one somewhere in Calcutta. But that's not really good enough intel to operate off. We'll just base them out of uh, here for now. Meanwhile, let's get a bunch of naval bombers deployed to a bunch of places down here. Just to... Uh, really harass any enemy fleets in the region from. And they're going to get steadily improved um, range, of course. Uh, do we need one operating in the South China Sea these days? Not really. I'd rather have them out here making sure the Mariana region is, uh, is fully covered. That seems good to me. Okay, uh, you... Didn't actually launch because I cancelled it. That's fine. We can deal with deal with that island at the same time as we take out New Guinea. Okay, you guys all arrived? Not quite. Nearly, though. You guys have all arrived. You guys... Oh, now have all arrived. Okay, plans ready. A few more days and they will be primed for combat. No more enemy ships in this region? Nope, they appear to have evacuated. Fair enough. Sensible of them, honestly. No volunteers. No, no, never, no more. Uh, we do have some resistance in Hong Kong, but we are moving men there as we speak. Any other areas? No, just Hong Kong that's currently daring to resist. I believe the more you, the more harshly you occupy an area, you do get more resources. Yes, so British Malaya. The Dutch East Indies and British Malaya are going to experience the very harshest of occupation so that we can get the maximum oil out of them. Uh, free mills because of that, probably from the ones in Singapore. Um, give me some more support equipment. I want, there's quite a few more support equipment things I need. Like, uh, yeah, give me just, just a butt ton of these. We have a lot of ports to garrison. How long until the first ones are done? Not too long. A little while though. Any more doubled port defenses I could pinch? Not that I'm seeing. 
Okay. Uh, we could get rid of these double guys here. Oh, yeah. And you guys have all gone green. I should, uh, I should train them a little bit so they're not green. I don't think we need two port defense in these inner islands. So let's pinch one of those. And just get just the larger ports down here to do with, uh, with garrisoning. The ones that would really start causing a problem. Like, a, yeah, six and a three. You know, that's would be not ideal. Alright, so this is no longer the Southeast Asia resource strike. This is the, uh... Well, these, these are the invaders, I guess. I mean, we could watch... Mm, yeah, the NI Naval Invasion Force. Seems good. And you guys should be highest reinforcement priority. Good. Okay, uh... Launch. Uh, not quite. Two more days. Two more days to get a couple of those planned. And then we'll launch. And once we've captured... Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, I'm glad I remembered. We're going to need one of you down here. How many men are on that one? Five? Okay. Two of you. Different plan. Land. Next one. Good. Okay. We need to give them... Another seven days to plan that little one. That's fine. Almost time for a new naval invasion tech? I forget when we actually get it. No, it's not for not for quite a while. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Enemy fleets thoroughly scared out of the region. How many hostile subs do we still have operating up here? None, looks like. None up even up there either. Well, you know what? We can activate this then. And we do not need to be convoy raiding here. Or here. We'll still here later on. Why did I have subs operating up here all that time? It's very silly of me. Oh well. And uh, we're not really experiencing any convoy convoy raiding in the East China Sea either. So let's pull out of there. Fifty days Greek to. Okay, but they have had the good sense to not declare on Romania yet, at least. Or maybe that was just a claim on it. Are you justifying for anything? He's justifying on Hungary. That's interesting. Oh, and there goes Greek War with Italy. Oh, but they are bulldozing into uh, France now. So Germany should start making some gains. Yep, they broke the Maginot Line. Nice. And Italy began to uh, pull back after they uh, initially had some problems in the African front. It now looks like Cairo may well fall. Good. That's very good for us. Okay. Planned. Planned, planned. Activate. Launch the naval invasions. Let's do this thing. You guys are going out to support naval invasions. Where are you going? He's decided down here is where he needs to be right now. Maybe I just put him in this region, and then he knows what to do. Naval, naval invade support in this region. Just this region. Yeah? No? He doesn't seem to be, uh, doesn't seem to be on board with this plan. You know what? I'll manually these how these go up here. This is the most important one. So... I might just be using it wrong, like with the reinforcement thing, of course. God, that's a lot of British convoys. That must be a... Uh, that must... Simply must be a... Um, some actual units. Oh, well, it's calling them freight convoys, so maybe not. Oh, there goes Luxembourg. All right. And your air wings, they do have some close air support. So let's operate our close air support and our fighters over this region. Those are not fighters. These are fighters. Give me a little bit of air superiority. Every little bit helps, right? Okay, these guys coming in here. I'm hopeful it'll be undefended. It does appear to be undefended. Excellent. Brits too concerned with the front line to expect the, uh, the strike from behind. Excellent news. Okay. There we go. That's one port down. Don't need to spread out much, but let's just uh, take up some defensive positions, maybe. And these mountains and woods would be nice places to hold, I think. You go up there. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, men arriving at the main ones also appear to be undefended. So it's going to be very easy. They did have one guy defending here, but he has uh, foolishly retreated to another area. Still giving us air superiority. Oh no, they are a bit defended, but not well enough. You guys 
can just prepare to brace for incoming offensives. And we've landed successfully, just immediately drive north as fast as possible. I need to capture this area. Good. If you go here and you here, superb, superb. Wrap up the Bengal Delta. Excellent. Take up, again, defensive positions on this river. Looking pretty good. Okay, and you give me a little bit of uh, shore bombardment just here, please. Let's get you, again, just straight up here. Take the air base. Not really so that we can use it, but just so that they cannot. And we should put them in a very bad supply situation over here. In short order. Excellent. Terrible supply, of course, over here, until we actually take Calcutta. But we are in the process of doing so. You guys can now uh, space out of Calcutta for a bit, I suppose. In fact, since you guys are so close, why don't you... Uh, main strike force. Why don't you take a break? Um, we'll get these guys to strike force here. And if the enemy tries to move any ships through the region, we'll detect them and wipe them out. Good. Okay, you guys clearing up the delta. You guys rushing north. Looks like things are well in hand. We'll fix the front lines once we actually uh, complete the encirclement of the Burmese front. Fantastic. Look at that. And improved oil processing. Just to be the cherry on top. And then next, we'll probably need to do some more industrial techs, so I'll save up. Look at the number of freaking convoys we're facing here. Capitulation. Who? Poland? No, France! Wow. We actually got some of the equipment. <laughs> so, the Pact of Rome took out France. Well done, Pact of Rome. It's good stuff. The Benelux still holding. I'm likely to hold for a while because I bet the Brits have a lot of men deployed here. But still, it's pretty good. It's going to... Uh, I mean, Free France does, of course, still exist. But uh, still, good stuff. All right. Uh, next... Hmm. Yeah, just save. Just save for now. Next thing to do with factories. We've got lots and lots of carrier planes, so we're probably okay there. Let's let's go serious into building some tanks. And maybe if we sp can spare some research at some point, we could start looking into building uh, amphibious tanks. He is moving in to defend, but I don't think it's going to help. France has fallen. And therefore, obviously, Paris has fallen. Looks like France capitulated before Paris fell, which is honestly embarrassing. And there's the pocket. These guys now have two supply between all of them. <laughs> Fantastic. Ooh, some tanks. Yeah, we can... Uh, I mean, tanks are well suited to driving through uh, mountains, right? No, we'll send them down here, I think. And some of you guys can be diverted to uh, important port defences. Good thing we haven't been naval invaded in the Pacific right now, of course, by the way. Because uh, <laughs> we had every single one of them exercising, which meant they had no organisation. <laughs> How's your training going? Oh, they took some damage. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I want them to train up at the same speed, so I don't mind if they... Uh... Yeah, don't split off. Do repair. Good. Okay, bad supply over here. Yes, fair enough. That's, that will be sorted soon. Ooh. Okay. The United States joins uh, the Allies. That is quite a development. Well, the invasion of Australia is going to be delayed, it looks like. I'm glad we got some mines over here, <laughs> but not enough to be a really serious number. Well, in that case, we should desperately start researching more light attack on our ships, because that's something we can get immediately. Oh, it's still going to take 100 days. You guys cease naval exercises, for God's sake. Uh, I'm going to need my strike forces repositioned. One active in the Carroll Islands. 
Second strike force is going to need topping off with carriers, please. Which is these guys. I'd like you two. And one of you. One of you can go to the reserve. One of you can go to the strike force. The anti-submarine guys are going to be needed in just in all the normal, normal places. We've got a level 3 anti-submarine warfare now. Guy now. Nice. Okay, the scout guys. Give me that light cruiser. So I can put him into the uh, beta strike force. Okay. Shh, stuff just got real. Let's remove all our our raiding from this region. This is far less important now. We need to be raiding... Yeah, so currently we're raiding nowhere. We need to raid... Here, 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 here. I want to make sure... And here, actually, because that's an American base. Any American com invasion convoys, I at least want to know about them before they impact me. That is your responsibility. The United States has been called in. They immediately have a hundred ships operating right over here. Oh, good lord. All right, you guys, <clears throat> you're based out of here. Let's let's call in the uh, the scout forces until the strike forces are in position. I believe the strike force can move to the uh, the uh, Caroline Islands safely. I, I have faith in that. These guys, yeah, just all retreat. Ret recall, recall the navy. You guys as well. I think I will. Uh, yeah, just, just everyone, come home for a second here. We need to, uh, we need to reassess the situation. You also cancel your orders. I want to see you base out of Carolinas as well, probably. Okay. All right, obviously we still need to finish up in India. So let's make sure that gets done. You guys, all in one army, preferably. This is the line that I intend to hold in India. Maybe this would be more sensible. Yeah, mm, that's fine. Okay, those of you that don't have an order, get on the Eastern Front. Good. There we go. You guys all should all be on here. Anyone without an order. <clears throat> Ooh, scary. Scary. Okay, now you guys are going to be responsible for the Pacific naval invasions. Let's move you up here. First of all has to be the Philippines. <clears throat> so, let's do that immediately. How are we going to do that? Well, we could do it in several steps. Or we could try a simultaneous landing all over the Philippines. I bet the Americans aren't garrisoning the Philippines very well. So I'm going to endeavor to pull off a simultaneous invasion of basically all parts of the Philippines. That's my intention. And we're going to do that covered by very small fleets while our main fleets are, uh, are busy, just ho hopefully holding down the American Navy in the uh, in the mid-Atlantic. All right, is it time to unpause? No, planes, right. So we would be far less important to have bombers down here. Let's get more bombers active over these regions. You down here, split in half. Let's get you here. Naval strike. You down here, likewise. Um, Probably one here, one here, naval strike. Okay. And I wish I'd captured these British islands so I could have bombers operating out of there as well. I don't think they'll be able to spot my fleets, because these are pretty rapid fleets, retreating quickly. <clears throat> now, finishing off the Burmese front. I'd rather, obviously, wait. Yeah, the Philippines has been called in. Okay, and just in time, I've got all these garrison troops. I am going to risk putting them to sea, knowing they may get raided. Let's just see. 
If they do start getting raided by small fleets, of course, we can uh, rapidly sally out to meet those small fleets with our uh, our big ass navies. In which case, it will be a uh, a noble sacrifice on behalf of these these small divisions. But I'm hopeful that we'll be able to slip under the radar while the Americans have bigger problems. We will uh, we will see. I suppose that's a. Uh, it's a home port. Cool. Okay, you guys uh, can begin. Let's begin clean operations earlier than I anticipated. Ooh, ooh, it's a big declaration. It was not what I expected. Not a declaration, rather, but a, a joining of the allies. I expected I had a while. I wanted, I was so close. I was going to finish up this area. I was going to naval invade all of Australia and New Zealand. I'd have primed my men with pre-planned invasions. The US got there first. All right. Thank you very, very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the episode. In the next episode, oh, God, we're being raided immediately by uh, huge numbers of American submarines up here. That's very dangerous. Okay, you guys, new plan, actually. We are going to convoy defend instantly, but not in the regions that you were previously defending. I, for now, I just need you to, to keep keep the home area safe. Let's see if we can defend this region with them. What have I done? I just merged all my fleets? Oh, that's annoying. Whoops. What, what the heck did I do? Is that what I did? I think that is what I did. We're immediately in combat, defending somewhere. Where? Where are you in combat? East China Sea? Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, darn it. I must messed up. Why can't I see? Okay, there we go. God, these guys are really experienced, aren't they? Oh, no, they're all merging. Can I, can I cancel that? Yeah, cancel your merge. Hey, good, I can. Okay. It's going to take a second, but less long than uh, I thought it was going to take, so that's good. This one, that one, cancel. Okay. Now, you still want to merge in there, and you, you merge in there, and you still want to merge in there. Okay. Now, you guys. Yeah. Convoy escorting in these regions. Okay. Got well, a lot of subs, and we don't have the very best anti-sub warfare troops, because we weren't, we weren't experiencing much problems with subs. So, we'll see how those go. We don't have very many convoys, either. Oof. Oof. Tough. Okay, do we launch... An, I, don't, I don't want to launch an offensive from this side. But into the French region, I will. Because they're very low organization. And we need to get this done. Okay, but I'm going to end the episode there. In the next episode, we'll clean out Burma and the Grand Pacific War will begin. See you then. Bye-bye.